Well, the European Pillar of Social Rights has been solemnly proclaimed by the President of the European Parliament, the President of the European Commission and all the Member States in 2017. It consists in a set of social rights that have been uh, uh, proclaimed by all the Member States in the field of social and employment policy, from the rights of minimum wage to the rights of housing, healthcare, education and so on and so forth. By the way, it consists in a political initiative, namely these rights are not directly enforceable. So, in order to implement the social pillar, we need an action plan. We need to concrete measures that are directly enforceable and gives to European citizens rights. Some of these initiatives have been already adopted. So, for example, a new directive on posting of workers, a new directive on work-life balance to, to guarantee that every father and mother, when they have a child, have the right to have a parental leave. But more needs to be done in order to rebalance the asymmetry between the economic and social goals within the European Union. I think about three important initiatives. The first one, to introduce a European minimum wage directive. Namely, every member state has to adopt a minimum wage directive to guarantee decent working conditions to all his workers. Second, we need a European unemployment benefit scheme at the EU level to reinsure national unemployment benefit scheme in order to directly help citizens with European funds when they are unemployed. And third, the European Union cannot think only about fiscal stability. It needs also to, th to think about social imbalances. So it's important that the EU intervene financially and technically to help member states when they suffer social imbalances.